Hi, everybody. This is Ananda Leek with Ananda Leek TV here live at the Caribbean Cultural Center. Today's March the 11th. It's a huge day in my life. You're looking at one of my dear sister loves, Chantrell Lewis. She's going to tell you why I'm here, what this is about, and how we connected. I remember in 2008, and it was, um, wow, it was the end of February 2008, so almost two um, years ago to date, and I was uh, very nervous. It was early in the morning, and I received an email from you um, because I just received a copy of your book the day before, and then you were sharing information with me about finding me and finding out about what I was doing. I had just moved back to New Orleans um, after uh, being in graduate school in Philadelphia when Katrina hit, and so I moved back to New Orleans to revitalize the McKenna Museum of African American Art. I, was, I felt like I was in over my head. I was like, who am I to <laughs> revitalize a museum by myself um, in post-Katrina New Orleans? And you sent me a copy of this book. You can show it. <laughs> yes, this is a book right here, Love's Troubadours. And I remember bawling. I was crying my eyes out. In fact, one of my other photographer friends and colleagues actually was in New Orleans for the opening, Layla Banner. And she was there, she saw me, she was like, you know, why are you so moved, why are you so emotional? And I said, this book is almost the unabridged, unofficial <laughs> autobiography of my life. And it, it meant so much to me, just even having you email me and reach out to me to send me a copy of your book, just to share that energy and that space. And so, you know, two years later, after the McKenna Museum became a huge success, I mean, it was it was definitely like an overnight success, and it was something I, I poured my heart, my career, my passion into. I moved here to New York to continue fin uh, following my curatorial passions, and here we are for my first exhibit at the Caribbean Cultural Center African Diaspora Institute with your piece, Urzali's Black Heart, which is a part of the Wearing Spirit aesthetically personifying the feminine and African sacred traditions exhibition. So I'm so happy to have you here, so happy to have your piece here. Yeah. Uh, the Rosalie piece means a lot. It's like we're coming full circle, um, which, you know, everything in life is full circle. And how many pieces are in this exhibit? Ooh, well, are 27 artists, and um, I would say about 34, 35 pieces. And everybody in the exhibit is looking at you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, I'm, I'm really excited. This, this show is very important to me as a practitioner of uh, Yoruba. My godmother is the founder of the center, Dr. Martha Malena Oega. And to carry on her work, to carry on her vision and celebrating and honoring um, the women and feminine energy present in African sacred traditions, it means a lot to me as I honor the priestesses who have done work and who've carried on traditions, the various matriarchs of, of our, our ancestry who have uh, carried us forth um, to, you know, to, mm -hmm. to now, to contemporary times. Okay, so what's next for you after this? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> a lot. Um, working on a lot of projects, a lot of exhibits with uh, various artists. Um, I'm going to be launching my website, Shantology.com, pretty soon, where I'll be showcasing emerging art and some other special things that I won't say yet. Okay. And um, I have lots of curatorial projects um, on the horizon. I also okay. have a project down in New Orleans um, okay. that will help um, save our history and our culture. So. And you're an artist too. Yeah. You always say that. You yeah. always say that. Yeah. You always say that. Because I, you are. I'm just being allowed to curate it. That's my art. Just okay. being able to work with artists, become friends with you all. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm just always humbled and honored when people even submit their work. And I'm like, wow, okay. So many words at the show, so uh, I guess that's that's my art. And also in the way that you look, like I want everybody to check out her outfit. You can sport, you can twirl. I can twirl yeah, <laughs> twirl a little bit and let everybody see. She always has unique pieces on, including her jewelry and her hair is her art as well. Oh, my, and my friend uh, Ola did my hair. She's a beautiful. Ah, oh, where's hair. Ola? Hey, yeah, Ola. <laughs> All right. Surrounded by a, a strong circle of sisters who, who uh, hold me down and lift me up each and every single day. All right. Well, and thank men you. as well. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Ananda. All right.